All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to System Test 29. One test away from System Test 30. And uh, for those of you who've been around for a little bit, I know I've been kind of talking about the requests and all that. System Test 30 will be the last system test that I will do by myself for a little while because from System Test 31 to 45, you guys will be requesting them. Now, don't leave any requests now because um, after System Test 30 comes out, I have to do a whole new collection video and a uh, system request guidelines video. Um, and then after that, uh, from 31 to 45, first 15 people uh, that leave requests, those would be the 15 system tests after system test 30. So yeah, um, so that test will be a pretty special, probably I'll make it a little bit longer and uh, be a nice cool system test. Um, stay tuned for system test 30, which will be out either next week or the week afterward. Um, I know I've been on a roll with this weekly upload, and I said I was going to go uh, bi-weekly. If for some reason I can't get some test 30 done before next week, you'll see it the week after. All right. I think I will be, though, because um, all these videos that you guys are seeing now, I'm actually recording these over my winter break. So it's still actually 2020 um, at the time of this recording. But this is the, guy, the time you guys are seeing this, this is like sometime in February. So I don't know, it's just crazy the technology works. Right here, we have my Simplex 2901-9833 on my 2903-9002 surface mount light plate. And I know that screw is uh, sticking out a little bit. Um, it's really long, and in order for me to get it all the way into the back box, I have to use that screw. Um, so, yeah. Right here, we have my Space AJB32 light plate with my FCI HP behind it. So as you can see, we've got two light plates on the system for once. I was really just gonna do a full system of light plates with this, the 9002 and my 2903-9001. Sadly, the light socket on the 2903-9001 causes a short circuit on the panel. And I know I talked about this before and I thought I fixed it. No, I didn't fix it. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. The socket's too small to even like, you know, try to attempt to fix it. If I wanna use my 2903-9001, I take the light socket out of that and put it in the 9001. So unfortunately, I cannot use the 9002 and the 9001 together, but I can use them interchangeably since the light sockets are pretty much the same. And then over here, I've got my Simplex 4903 9222 30 candela electromechanical horn stroke in white. White! Um, and the panel is going to be coded to code 3. Um, I've done March time. Last two system tests, so we're obviously going to change up to code three. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's system test, shall we? And I think we will go ahead and start with uh, what do we want to start with today? Um, let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, oh, mo. Um, Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Okay. Forget about it. We'll do this pull station. And I'll pull it because I've been doing uh, lots of the uh, key operations lately. So, I'm going to pull this. And you can hear the relay clicking from uh, NAC3. It's not hooked up, there's no audible silence, but it's just uh, clicking away, I didn't disable it. We'll do a smoke blast. Um, we'll go ahead and do this pulse station. And uh, by the way, I've had people ask me, when are you gonna switch out the pulse stations? 
sometime after test 30, I will swap them out. Um, cause I know we're doing the, the requested tests. Um, I will not allow you guys to pick bull stations. So, um, since it's requesting, I'm not getting any new alarms. I might just spend the money on some new pull stations. So yeah. You know what I noticed? Even though the 9833 draws the same amount of power as the 9838, and even though it's the same amount of decibels as the 9838, it is much sharper and slightly louder than the 9838. I think it just mainly has to do with the uh, the grill design. Now it's more open, so more sound comes out. So it gives you that sharper sound instead of that flatter, more muffled sound of the 9838. All right, and uh, I said I was going to smoke out the detector, the system test. We're going to save that for system test 30. So we'll go ahead and just use the magnet. Um, I know I've been doing the magnet a lot. I don't want to smoke it out all the time because eventually it'll wear out the chamber. But um, we will smoke it out next test, I promise. So yeah, now we have uh, two light plates on the system. Like I said, I haven't done that before, which is surprising. I've had these light plates for a while. But um, my plan is to get myself either a replacement socket for my other 2903, or just get a whole other 2903. Um, and that way we can have a system of all light plates. Um, currently on eBay, there's a uh, bidding of another Space Age AV32. Um, I might end up putting a bid on it just to have a full system of light plates, but eh, just a future idea. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all for system test 30.